Welcome to guide 3 of the Slumber Hotel. So we have just finished door 1, 2 and 3 and there are now more doors available for us as we can earn over 1000 tickets. There are also 3 quests available. So first of all, if you come in the door, go to the left, you see here there's a new Jimmy NPC and there's also another NPC here. But yeah, let's start the quest. Jimmy and Bimmy, give Jimmy 500 Slumber tickets. Collect 20 spare wall cables for Jimmy. Wall cables can be collected by breaking enemy wall blocks. Obtain 50 tokens of ferocity by killing or assisting in killing players. That's cool. So yeah, you need to give them 500. There we go. And I just need the other two things. Okay, so for the second quest, so once you start this Jimmy and Bimmy quest, you want to walk over this way, just behind where we used to have Jun Inda go sit. You want to go down this little staircase and you should see right there once we get closer possibly. Yep, there we go. New quest, Don Expresso, which is an admin. And he keeps saying stuff in chat if you don't like click it straight away. So let's see, what's his quest? You, do you work here? I am hungry. I require sustenance. Feed me something, anything that glitters. Gold bars obtained by finishing a match with unspent gold ingots in your inventory. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I didn't expect that to be a quest. Okay, the next quest, you want to come back from up here as I run up the stairs, then run up these stairs just after it. And as you will see, there will be a new little meet in here and you have a quest from the CEO. Numbers are down. Numbers are down. Numbers are down. Numbers are done. Let's bring the numbers back up then, shall we? Bring the numbers back up. Bring the numbers back up. Ring the rafters very much. You there, can you bring us some numbers? Bring us numbers. Bring us numbers. Bribe the plumbers. Bring the CEO 10 proof of success obtained by winning Bed Wars games. So yeah, it does look like the Don Espresso and the CEO quest do go towards winning games, which is good because you'd be winning games anyway while playing. I have now finished the Jimmy quest, which was quite easy. I did it before all the others because I already had it claimed in and ready to start. So let's speak to Jimmy. Upon speaking to him, you want to give him the 20 spare wall cable and then the 50 tokens of ferocity. He then says, ah, oh, you brought me the stuff. That's what I'm talking about. Now let me fix this table. You get 10,000 Bedwars XP. You get two full levels. Okay, so I did actually miss one of the quests. So I've played a few games since then. And yeah, I found out there's another quest. So if you run up these stairs, just from the back of where John Indigo's was, run up these stairs to the left of the milkshake bar, there's a new quest here called Hammer. So let's click on them. They say, hey, it's you. I think I'm somewhat ready to fight Heatwave, the werewolf. I've made a silver blade to fight him, but I don't know how to use blades. I've used hammers all my life. Can you save a replay of you using the sword to defeat an enemy? Quest started. Defeat a player using the silver blade. Use a silver blade in a Bedwars match to defeat a player. So, when you spawn into any Bedwars game, you're going to start off with your normal wooden sword and then the silver blade. It doesn't work too well against humans. Too bad there aren't any werewolves around. About as good as a wooden sword, really. Even looks like a wooden sword. It's pretty much blunt. Bad craftsmanship, if you ask me. So yeah, we just need to get... It was either a win or a kill with it, I can't remember, but yeah, let's try and do it. Okay, so let's try and kill them and see what happens when we win. Let me go speak to the NPC, see if he has any different dialogue. Oh, he does! Obtained from killing a player using a silver blade. Okay, I'm gonna claim this in now, so as I did kill someone with a sword in that game, I can now give it to Hammer. And there we go, they say, Ah, I got the footage from you a minute ago. Let's watch it. Wow, you really gave him a good one. Oh, there he goes. I think I got it. Here's something for your effort. So you got 10,000 Bedwars XP, 700 slumber tickets, and obtained the Hammer vs. Heatwave figurine. At some point during your games, you're going to get 1,000 tickets. So if you've saved up enough items throughout all of your Bedwars games, such as Iron Nuggets and Silver Coins, you can come down to the Apprentice Blacksmith down here and get 50 slumber tickets each time you claim it in. So yeah, this is quite a good way of grinding slumber tickets. So I would only open, I would only use these ones once you have the 5,000. Obviously you're watching this video, so you should have the 5,000 max. We just want to do it so we can unlock the doors a bit quicker and see what they require us to do. Okay, there we go. We have 2,000 tickets, so I'm about to unlock door four. There we go, the electronic door. Whoa, wait, mystery box, mystery vault. They're back, <laughs> okay. Anyway, we've got a new quest from Hermes. Hold on, I haven't even started building my house. Wait, you don't look like a guest. Who are you? Slumber? Bedwars? This is Housen, lol. Can you help me unlock my materials? What year is this? It's 2015. Housen just came out. Who are you again? Doesn't matter. I need a bunch of Time Worm Mystery Box for my materials. Help Hermes find 15 Time Worm Mystery Boxes by completed Bedwars games. So yeah, you really want to unlock this one as soon as possible because you do have to complete Bedwars games. Anyway, we're going to unlock door 5 now, which I believe 
is up on the other side of the hotel, all the way over here. And it is. Door from the sky. Let's purchase this. Oh, oh, it's Skyblock. Are you serious? Oh, I bet it was the update is for real, Skyblock. What happens if I fall down here? Nothing. Oh, yeah, it TPG back. Okay. Anyway, new quest, Skyblock player. Thank you for visiting my island. Wait, something's off. You don't look like a Skyblock player. It says you're in the Bedwars lobby. I fell asleep again, did I? Hey, maybe you can help me. This Ender Dust in Bedwars, maybe they have a collection assigned to them. Can you bring me 200 to give it a test? So you are gonna need 200 Ender Dust, but luckily I have 200. I didn't actually think I was gonna have that. So let's actually just claim this quest right now. Oh, that's it. Let me take those from you. Well, would you look at that? There is a minion. Sadly, this is a dream world. Otherwise, I'd make bank up the bazaar. Maybe you can use the minion? Anytime that you want to use the minion, talk to me and I'll open up its menu for you. And then you get another 10,000 Bedwars XP from that. So if you click on them, oh my god, you can actually see the minion. That is so cool. It probably doesn't actually earn stuff, does it? What does this say? So the Ender Dust minion. Having this minion will start generating and harvesting Ender Dust. Every match adds 150 dust to the minion's inventory, up to a maximum of two stacks of 64. Every two matches add one slumber ticket to the minion's inventory, up to a maximum of 64. Ah, oh, that's cool. It doesn't look like you can upgrade it. This is so cool. What? We've got a minion in school? Bed wars now? <laughs> Let's go. So what I'm gonna do, I am gonna use the blacksmith again, the apprentice blacksmith, so I can get myself a thousand tickets again to open door six. There we go, I meant another 1,000 tickets. So, door 6, which is just right next to door 5. Door as seen on TV. Let's purchase it for 1,000 tickets. Quest started, win the quiz show. Whoa, this is so cool. So, quiz show host. Behind door number 6, a block car. If Aqua MLG answers the questions correctly, the car is theirs forever. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Alright, let's get to this, shall we? First question. Why is it called Bed Wars? Because there are beds. What is happening? 43. Is it 43? Correct! New question. Why is it called Sky Wars? 2? Correct. And now for the final question. Answer this one right and you win this car. Where is Jerry? On Private Island. Who's Jerry? The letter F. I clicked the letter F and I won. The car is yours. You can find it in the main area of this lobby. <gasps> I think I know what this is, where this is. You got 10,000 Bedwars XP again. Awesome. And you also get plus 1,000 slumber tickets. This was just a free door. I think I know where this is. In front of the lobby, right? Is it to the left here? It should be there, right? Oh, no, but this is back now. Well, this is definitely going to be the car, but... What could be under the cover? Yeah, I wonder what could be under the cover. Yeah, you should let me have it though. So as that door six is quite easy and you do get your thousand summer tickets back, you are going to want to go to the other side of this place and open up door seven. So if you go here, it's called Skyscraper Door. Let's unlock it for a thousand tickets and go in. And there's a new quest called The Rat Man. Prime never stops at Rotham City. Wait, who are you? How did you even get here? No matter, the punner, my worst enemy is at it again. He ain't funny, I tell you what. I need to repair my bad joke scanner to find where he's currently hiding. Can you find me unusual items? I swear it will make sense. I need 5 comfy pillows, 4 sets of bed sheets, 200 iron nuggets, 20 sets of spare wall cable, and a car spark plug. Interact with a car to obtain the spark plug. But I'm pretty sure it's not there, unless it's going to appear there now that I've opened door 3. Door 7? It's still not there. Oh, I switched lobbies and I clicked it and it said plus one spark plug. There we are. So all I'm missing from this quest now is eight more spare wall cable. Then I'll be able to claim it. So yeah, we can't do anything else anymore. So let's get into a Bedwars game and grind. Okay, so I have completed the executive's meeting quest for the CEO. So I can go claim it in now. I'm a level 897 right now. This should give me two levels, 10,000 Bedwars XP. So I should be one level off 900 star. So, there we go, give you that. They say, the numbers are back up. The numbers are back up. The numbers are back up. You know what? I was not going to say anything, but this is starting to look like a cult. I mean, look at you guys, repeating the same words as the CEO is saying. Are you guys not seeing it? I don't think I can stay here and do this anymore. Number two, you didn't even come to my wedding last Tuesday. I know you were here the whole time, spouting number nonsense. This is not healthy. Absolutely not healthy. I can't stand it anymore. I'm leaving. Here, Aqua MLG. Take my tickets and my suit. I'm done. And for claiming that, you get 10,000 Bedwars XP, 300 slumber tickets, and the executive's meeting figurine.
So I have finished the other three quests, the 25 gold bars, the 15 time wear mystery boxes, and also helped the Ratman quest. So, Don Espresso. This quest is down here, right? Yes, down here. So if I go down here, I then go give Don Espresso his lovely 25 gold bars. He says, the gold is indeed a metal. I googled it. That I what I wanted. Here, have something. That made no sense. 500 slumber tickets, Don Espresso figurine, and 10,000 Bedouin's XP. <gasps> you also got a lump of Dwarven Mithril. Oh, that's for one of the doors for you, like later on. Oh, I have a new quest down here. We won't start that yet because there are three quests right now I can start. But I want to go claim my other ones. So now the mystery boxes. Here we go. Give the 15 mystery boxes to them. They say, ah, oh, sweet. I'll head to the main lobby in a bit to open these. Hopefully I get some neat materials. 8,000 Bedwars XP. Okay, and then if I go to the next one, which is... Oh, Ratman. So yeah, in door 7. Speak to Ratman. Give him the 5 comfy pillows. The 4 bed sheets. The iron nuggets. The spark plug. He then says, Ratman places folds down there's some bed sheets. Puts a circle of pillow on it. Sits comfortably under some warm sheets and starts crafting. Yes, my bad jokes radar works now. Look at it. Brand new. Speak and scan. The scanner beeps. Whoops, that was me. Here's your reward. And upon doing that, you get 1.5 thousand slumber tickets. You obtain the Ratman in the City figurine, the Ratman shopkeeper skin, and 10,000 Bedwars XP. Experience. Okay, so that is the end of this video. In the next one, we'll be opening door 8, 9, and 10 and claiming all of the qu other quests that we can claim right now around the hotel. So yeah, stay tuned for that. The link will be in the description for part 4. Thank you for watching. I hope it did help you out. If it did, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.